welcome to Really Random Rants, the show where we do just that. Today we are doing another Universes! Our characters are... Oh, I'm starting? Okay. Yeah. Um, Luke Skywalker from the Star Wars movies. Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, my name is Kid Fisto. My name is Dr. Vickman. I'm Grell. And I thought it was Grellovin. Grell, Grellovin, um, Grell, Grellovin, whatever you guys are comfortable with. No, let's stick with Grellovin. I'm Grellovin. Joke Lord. Why do you sound like a girl? <laughs> Why do you sound like a girl? <laughs> you don't sound like a girl anymore. Congratulations. <laughs> anyway. So, I'll you up. Anyway, so, as she said, her character was Luke Skywalker. Mike Arthur is, Pendragon. Who's that? King Arthur. King Arthur. The one with the light sword? The one with the, the sword? Excalibur. Yeah, the one with yeah. the sword that can be charged by the sun and shoot it's, incredible blasts. Yeah, King Arthur. Okay, and my character is Amadeus... You know, the Holy... Hunt for the Holy Grail, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Amadeus Cho Hulk. You're this is bad. awkward. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to go in order describing our characters. Okay, I still don't see what the order is here, but okay. Um, oh, the ladies first. Yeah. Okay, first, uh, Luke Skywalker. Guy. Most people are familiar with him. But for he those is, who aren't. But for those who aren't, he is a Jedi, and a, he is a Jedi Knight, and the Jedi Knights are the ones that, in the Star Wars films, who are... Oh, uh, sorry for that delay. We had to... Uh, it probably won't be delayed then, but anyway. Sorry for that random so, jump! Um, yes. Uh, okay, anyway. I back to Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is a Jedi... 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 Jedi control the Force. Um, and, we're gonna go with um, popularity first. So, okay. So we're going... With, okay, that's good. Uh, popularity. He is... Incredibly popular. He was, he was in, but not as popular as you would think for some things. But he was as po he, he was in one of the most influential um, sci-fi films yes. in all of the history of the world, ever. Yes, agreed. Period. And he was like the main character. So. So. Yeah, he's pretty popular. Okay, moving on to King Arthur. He's actually a little bit less popular. Actually, there's multiple books about him, King of England. I mean, Holy Sword, Holy Grail, Merlin. But I'm not talking about um, uh, things that he's been in. I'm talking about, like... His popularity for a king, his popularity is pretty high as a king. A lot of people know him? No, no, no. I'm talking about, like, in... If in, someone says his name, lots of people know exactly what's up. Arthur, I think of a hedgehog as soon as I hear the word. I mean, I think of an art. No, not what was he? What uh, was Ar Arthur? Was a hippo. Arthur. Arthur. He I'm was a hippo. Sure it says in the song, "Arthur is a friendly hippo." We're not talking about the same show. What show are we talking about? Arthur. Yes, the show the called Arthur, Mark? where his friend is the rabbit. Yeah, the art That's Mark? hippo. It's just hippo. It's an art. No, he's an art bark. That's what I thought for the longest time, but then like, no, he's I an art bark. He's a hippo. No, he's an Aardvark. No, my life can't be a lie. He's a no. Yeah, I thought he was no. an Aardvark too, but then Excuse I did, me, then I heard he was a hippo. Guys, stop talking over top of each other. Guys, stop talking over top of each other and talk more slowly because talking over top of each other makes it le less easy to hear each other. My aunt made a complaint about that. That's the guy who talks over top of us to get us to stop. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I lost. Anywho, we are going to talk about Arthur now. So, Wait, we're talking about Arthur. on a scale of 1 to 10, how famous would you put him? Definitely a 10. At most, a 9. He's not as popular as you would think. He, here's Luke Skywalker. Yes. A exactly. I mean, and neither is my choice, the Hulk. He's probably... Yet again, he's a king. There's Let's find out what, um, what uh, McFly says. Who's more popular? Well... Um, you don't need to get into a pose. You just need I know. to talk. I was stretching. Oh. Your Hulk isn't too popular. No, yet. it really isn't. So I'd put yours at a four. I lose the popularity. Um, for sure. King Arthur isn't as popular as he used to be. Yes. So I would put him at a seven now. I first... 
Like, I Luke Skywalker yeah. just had a movie, so yeah, I just, a lot of I, people yeah. are... He just stood there. Uh, yes, yeah, he, he did just stood there. But he was but there. People were, thing, but people were waiting to yes, see him. So the whole were, movie, people were like... Can we stop Luke with the Skywalker hood shadows thing? thing? Could, you, could you not do the hood He was being Luke. I like the hood. It makes so, he has to do Luke. I would say Luke wins by popularity, but only by one. It's an eight for Luke, seven for King Arthur. Now, King Arthur, a few, if we were talking about maybe five, ten, ten years, years ago, ago it then be more popular. Yeah. Actually, I think that old things are coming back in time, are coming back, so maybe ten years ago um, it wouldn't have been as popular. Welcome to 2016, time. where we only make sequels. <laughs> hey, Where's the that? next King Arthur movie? I'd pay to see that. Was there a King Arthur movie? There should be an So that's my feel. opinion on popularity. Hey, you McFly. Anyway, so we're going to talk about. Abilities next, and I'm happy for mine to come up, but we're gonna go with hers first. Okay, so Luke Skywalker has the Force, which it because he's a Jedi, and the Force is what gives the Jedi his powers. <laughs> but the Force surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. It I'm sorry, it, there are too many quotes about the Force. It gives him super strength, super speeds, <laughs> um, uh, telekinesis, telepathy. Thanks for letting me talk. Well, you were talking about you were just I making was quotes. about to talk. You don't see me jumping in and talking about your Hulk guy now, do you? There's not much to talk about my Hulk guy. <laughs> so anyway, um, he is able to. Well, what you see him do in the movies is more of just like the basic force powers, which is like moving things with your mind, so telekinesis and. Um, sensing, like, he can sense when his friends are in danger. Or like the, uh, so, like, so a so precognition like a, idea? I guess. Anywho, we're going to move on to Grillabin. What is there to even say? Magical sword. He is strong. I would have to give him that. I wouldn't call him dumb. I'd definitely call him highly intellectual. He's able to withstand his own in a fight. Even against formidable opponents. Like a, a formidable human opponents or a formidable non-human opponents? Both. I would say both. Mm. I can't recall any legends about King Arthur fighting non-humans. Question. Did, how answer. did King... Oh, what? I have an answer. Um, did King Arthur die in a fight or did he die by natural cause? He died... I believe his name was Morbron... I think that's how you pronounce his name. He died after getting into a fight with him. And what were Morbron's abilities? Or is he just a good swordsman? Um, he, I believe he was known as the Black Knight. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I might be wrong. Oh! oh continue, we have an announcement at the end, but yeah. I'm trying, yeah. But, I would say King Arthur is no pushover. Yeah. Okay, next, we're going to talk about the Hulk, Amadeus Cho style. Okay, so the Hulk has superhuman strength. He has the ability to jump incredible distances. He is able to come back from literally anything. Anything. He has uh, regeneration abilities. He has the ability to hold his breath underwater for a crazy amount of time. Mm -hmm. He also has the ability to breathe underwater for some odd reason. You don't need both those powers at the same time. <laughs> Anywho, um, so, and then he also has the, he literally, he fell into a building and it fell apart. Like, just immediately. Just, <laughs> done. You're stalling. Me? He was able. He was able to punch a giant flying whale monster piece of crap in the face, and it affected it. It like it 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 did a ton of damage. It it it, it beat the crap out of it. Anywho, um, ah, uh, the. Wow. Okay, so he has superhuman strength, and he, in this version, is Amadeus Cho. He is super intelligent. He has, he, he, even as the Hulk, he's, 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 he's probably 
almost as intelligent as um uh, almost as intelligent as Bruce Banner probably. So and and he's just amazing. So that's my character. So on the power level and abilities, who do you think wins? This guy has telekinesis and telepathy and force. And he took down a ranker. <sighs> A, a ranker. Technically the game. Technically, but he was, he had, he, he was pressed able to give to him get him props over there. For getting, you he know. was able to get him over there. He survived in the ranker pit. Yeah. He was able to. And that, uh, that, that's some, yes, stuff, that's so. very impressive. Yeah. Magic sword, people. And he got him over to the gate, so. Yeah. Um, so, mm. yours? Magic sword. Well, it probably has a whole... My guy has a magic it. sword. It's called a lightsaber. <laughs> Excalibur, the holy sword of swords. And technically, Excalibur also has the ability to shoot out beams of light, according to certain anime. If I was going off anime, I should have picked Gilgamesh. Why didn't we give him an anime category? I would have picked Gilgamesh. I would have beat all of you. Whoa, guys. we down. didn't do anime, did we? So, Gilgamesh would destroy the hawk if we did anime. Or, uh, okay, so we're not talking about Gilgamesh. Anyway. Well, he is a hero. I mean, from the Bible. So, I mean, he's, he's relevant. We're not talking. We are talking about him. Anyway, King and Arthur. So, holy Sword. Holy Sword. What are the abilities of the Holy Sword? I mean, you're just saying Holy Sword, Holy Sword. That doesn't mean any to us, anything to us unless you... Well, it depends on what you're reading. Again, anime, the beam. Some have it that it can just shatter through anything. Others... It can't be broken. It's like impenetrable blade. You can shatter anything you want. Yeah, you said that before. And the fact it's is... It's so important to say it twice. And isn't he also, like, very wise and amazing strategic? Yes, he is a very wise man. Very strategic. It's not going to be easy to take him out. Okay, so we got to wrap this up. So, on the whole, you have King Arthur with the holy... Super strong la laser oh, beam. Yeah, laser beam Excalibur. And then you also have Luke Skywalker, who has amazing lightsaber abilities and the Force on his side. And if you don't know what the Force could do, you've been living under a bridge. Actually, never mind. There's a lot of people I know that don't know what the Force could yeah. do. Sorry about that. That was rude. And why bridge? Most people say uh, rock. Yeah, you've been living under a lock. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, and then you have the Hulk, a super strong, super smart being. The ability to crush pretty much anything in his way. Who said oh. you could pick up my <laughs> airplane? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, tell us in the comments who do you think would win in this fight. And then we will tell you next time who won in the long run. Mm -hmm. So, hashtag, what? Oh, oh. And oh, yes, last, last Billy Random Rants episode. We had ourselves a winner, according to. The universes of it. Oh, yeah. Um, the winner was, and hopefully there will be words across here that say the name, like, as I said. <laughs> Lady Sif, congratulations, you beat... What was the contester? Uh, oh, Percy Jackson. And and what did I choose? <laughs> Anywho. I don't even remember. No, no, now it's bugging me. What was the challenge? Doc Brown. Oh, that's right. I chose Doc Brown. That was a flash reference, by the way. I wasn't doing his voice. Doc I was doing. Oh. I was doing Harrison Wells doing yes. Doc Brown's voice. Anywho, yeah. um, you say. Uh, I just got past a message that said that there's a challenge at the end of this episode. I threw it at you guys. So it was what, my paper airplane. What was the challenge? The Butterfinger challenge. And um, that means what? What's that mean? Does I don't that like mean that we? It's not who eats it the fastest. Um, figure out a quick challenge with those Butterfingers. First one to be able to open this, eat this, and swallow it wins. So put it down. Put it down on the table. Three, two, one, go! Go!
Sorry, I had to say go, otherwise it would be unfair. You'd be ready if they weren't. No! Done. Done. What is this? <laughs> I mean, we both tied. I like to enjoy mine. Even though I don't like it. <laughs> we gotta find another gentleman gunfight. Ten paces. How about no? Wait. Is there anything else we can do quickly? We will show you the slow motion replay. You and determine. You choose. The wait, wait. Oh yeah. You, yeah. Okay. So slow motion replay. And three, two, one, go. That was an incredible slow motion replay, and I know I won. <laughs> yeah. Let the uh, comments decide. Anyway, um. Uh, so hashtag Deb did it first. Hashtag Deb did it first. Live long, long and prosper. prosper. I'm may the tired. force may the force be with you and. Harrison Ford is awesome. Have a really. We all know King Arthur's gonna beat. Have a really really random day.